you agree with that? And, and yeah, man, it's crazy. There's, uh, I mean, last year, if you think about it, there were four guys that played, um, you know, and uh, this year, um, Coach Kafusi plans on traveling nine. And that, that's a big difference, you know what I mean? And even in practice, you know what I mean? We'll take three or four reps and then change. And so it's been nice as far as, you know, knowing there's people behind you that can do the job, but then knowing that you can go as hard as you can while you're out there, and then you're going to get a break. How, uh, how has uh, Marcus kind of come back from missing spring and all that? What's... Man, he's good. Mm -hmm. He's really good. I, I mean, I've told people this before. I don't know what it was um, with him when he first came here, but he's a completely different player now. Mm -hmm. um, he works his butt off, especially in the off season, and he, I mean, he'll, he'll definitely be our starting nose after that first game. Last year, people might have thought you were a tad undersized. Or have you put on some weight? Yeah, man, I gained like 25 pounds. <laughs> um, I played last year at like 245, and mm -hmm. man, that, it was tough. Just like physically, you know what I mean? When you're pushing 320 around every play, um, it is hard. So yeah, I'm like almost 275 um, now, so it's a lot better. And uh, I can tell, I can tell a difference, especially especially on the run. Mm -hmm. What did you do to put on the weight? Any um, honestly, just with the nutritionist, and I tried to I tried to keep my you know keep my body weight percent body fat percentage down, mm -hmm. and just try to focus on putting on good weight. So, yeah, luckily luckily I was able to. You said you notice the difference in the run. So you're more better at two gapping now. Oh yeah. You're more stout than you. Yeah, and I just think I mean. Coming here out of high school, I only weighed like 215, went on my mission and came back and weighed like 235. And I've never really been like a strong guy upper body wise, you know what I mean? And so my bench and, and with adding weight, everything just increased a lot and it's it's helped a ton so far. Yeah, yeah, work out, with, work out with Travis, work out with Graham and those guys, Logan Tyle, and uh, it's a good time to get stronger. So. Yeah, was the D line more stout this year than it was last year because of the bigness and because of the bigger guys? That's been yeah, it, it, it really is. It's a lot better. Um, I mean, obviously Ethan's gone, which is a big, a big place, uh, a big spot to replace. But I think with Marcus there and what he can do, and then um, the depth that we have, I think will be a lot better than last year. With the rotation of the D-line, do you like it like that, but you just rather just be in there all series? No, I like it a lot better. You watch, I mean, you watch the teams we played last year. You watch the Notre Dames. You watch the Wisconsin's. They're three plays and out. Um, and at a D-lineman, when you're hitting every single play, it's not like the secondary where you have, you know what I mean, you can run to the ball. It's pounding every single play. So I think it'll be a big difference. In the past, has this been the difference in BYU and other major colleges, the fact that now that you have more depth and talent to where you're able to compete on a higher level? Yeah, I feel like it has just because I, since I've been here, there's never been, I mean, even two full groups deep. You know what I mean? It's always been like, hey, we got our ones, then we have one or two that are going to come in. But this year, there really is. We need a couple more guys to step up to, to solidify the threes. But we really do have two full groups, so I think it'll help a lot. What will determine who takes the field first out of the first two groups? Um, I don't know. I think just the guys that have been consistent. It's kind of been interesting. I think when Marcus comes back, he'll he'll be at the nose. But all of camp, it's been Travis at the nose and me in, at the end. And then that, that other end spot's kind of switched. Um, it started with Graham. And then Logan Tyler has been playing really well. And he's been running with the ones the last couple of days. So With Marcus coming at the nose, is it possible that there could be other guys switch on to Travis, maybe playing D-tackle where he stayed at the nose guard or the guys just switched around? No, yeah, I think uh, depending on the team we're playing, especially if, you know what I mean, if like you're playing a Wisconsin team that you know is just going to pound it, um, I, 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 I suppose that Coach Kafusi would put in three nose tackles. You know what I mean? If he really had to, you could have Travis um, at one end, Marcus in the middle, and maybe Logan or someone on the other end, Kesney, Tausinga, if he can ever get healthy. Um, so, yeah. Different depends, so basically depending on the team you play. You yeah, I think the where, yeah, I think the the starting like the way we start the game will, will pretty much be the same. But if we can tell a team just wants to run and stay running, I think it will. Um, I think you could definitely see three nose guards in there, kind of some bigger bodies. So, so the, so the chances to play more will determine if you can play nose guard. Have you played nose guard? <laughs> no, I've never played <laughs> nose guard. Um, I uh, I mean my body's just not for that, but. Um, yeah, I mean, I've just been working on playing against the runs. My biggest thing, pass rush has always come easy for me. So it's been good, though, and I, uh, I think you'll see a big difference just as far as depth and freshness this year compared to last year. What do you think needs to happen with your group for you to feel comfortable come the, the first game against UConn? Um, I'd say the biggest thing is probably um, have a couple more guys step up. Um, I feel like right now we have about five or six that can really play, and we really need like seven or eight. 
Um, there's a couple guys that have maybe been here for you know a year or two, and they're kind of just teetering. And you know, I've talked to them, and coaches talked to them. We just need to get them to um, step up a little bit and be ready to play. How do you motivate guys like that? I don't know. It's hard. I mean, different guys are different ways. You know what I mean? The backgrounds they come from and the way they've been raised. And so, honestly, I just try to you try to get to know them and, and see how to help them the best. And hopefully, it works out. Hopefully, the coaches do a lot better job. You know, so. The biggest difference in the line this year and the first last year, obviously, will probably be depth and experience. Anything else? Um, because with depth and experience, you can do a lot more things. So I know that's maybe Coach Kapoos here, you guys doing more things. Than yeah, I would, I, would, I would definitely say it's, depth, it's uh, depth and experience, but it allows us to do a lot more too. You know what I mean? When you have two big guys that can play in the run, it allows them. I mean, I, I've been playing outside a lot more, almost like an ex-backer. You know what I mean? Rushing off the edge a little bit more. And so it's cool when you have big guys in the middle that can, get, can hold it down and then allows me to play out, you know, in a five technique or something like that. So.